Hello from Teacher Toy Shop. Today I would like to show you how to make a 3D model of a human ear that pops up when open. I'm to close it like this. You may or may not want to put an ear image on the front. That's up to you, but you can see that it pops up um, to reveal the ear when I open it. So let's talk about how to make this. Um, in order to make this model, you will need the template, either in color or the color your own version. This is obviously the color your own version. So you need uh, three pages. This is a page of parts. This is another page of parts. And then this is the base page. Um, and you may or may not choose to, um, to copy it double-sided. If you're going to glue this into a notebook, you do not need this backside, but if you plan to use it, for example, as a card, then you can copy it with an ear on the front and write a message here. So you need those three pages. Um, you're also going to need some glue and some scissors. I'm going to show you how to use, um, how to make the model um, with the one that's already pre-colored, but you can obviously color your own. I do recommend you color the parts before you put the model together, just because it's easier. I've already cut out the parts for you just to move this video along, but that's the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to cut out all of the parts. Um, one thing to be aware of is that this piece, you need to cut out the center. And then right here, you need to make a slit. And I have found that the easiest way to do that is to fold it right there and then use my scissors to make a slight slit right there because you're gonna slide um, one of the pieces. This piece is gonna get slid in there. Then the other thing that you need to do once you've cut out all the parts, which I've already done, um, is to use your key to make all of the folds that are shown. And what I mean by that is um, if it's got the long dots, it's a mountain fold, and if it has the short dots, it's a valley fold. So for example, this part right here has the long dots, so you fold it so that the whites are back to back and it looks like a mountain. These are all mountain folds on this particular piece. But some of the other ones, like this one for example, this is a valley fold, that's a mountain fold. And in fact, the base itself um, has a valley fold down the center. So, um, so go ahead and make all of the folds as well and then you can start gluing. And so this one is a valley fold right here like this. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is to go ahead and do some of the gluing. The letters are basically in order. Um, so the numbers relate to the parts, so don't worry about the numbers just yet. But the letters basically go in order of what you should do. So for example, here I have, this says glue behind A. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just gonna make sure my glue is open here. Take the stuff off the top, okay. So um, I'm gonna take part A and put it through that slit that you saw me make earlier. Pull it gently all the way through so that you see the nine and that ear part right there. And then right back here, you may have to hold it up to look through the light to see where it lines up. But I'm gonna put some glue here and um, glue down A right there. Okay, so that piece. Goes like that. And so it should look like this once you've glued it down. Okay, and I'll let that dry for a second. And then in the meantime, I'm going to take care of these. Um, this really just gets glued on the back of this, so they're mirror images. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna put some glue right here. And then this piece is gonna sit on top of it just like that. This one has a fold, by the way. Uh, just a small fold, so you'll see that's, it looks like a mountain on this side and a valley on this side, because you're actually just gonna fold it right like that. Because that piece 
is actually going to sit on top of here. So that's going to get glued down right there. So I'll take a little bit of glue. Just go like that. And that sticks up right like that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to move a couple of these pieces out of the way right now, is um, you see this says C and D, and actually this one says E and F. Those are going to get glued onto the base. So let me move the base into position here. So here's our C, glue C on top of here, glue D on top of here. So that is what we're going to do. So I will put glue on C and D, and these pieces here, just go right like so. And we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to turn this around so it's easier for me to see. And you can see it says glue F here and glue E there. And this piece has the E and the F, so I'm just going to do the exact same thing. It may not line up exactly. Luckily, this model is pretty forgiving, even if you aren't exact. So I wouldn't um, stress that too much. Do Just do the best you can. Um, so that piece sits right like that. Okay, and then the last part of this section, you'll notice this G here, and uh, I'll turn it around so you can see that it says glue face to face with G right there. So that's what I'm going to do. So So now we have our ear is kind of standing up and looking a little bit more complete right there. Okay, these next sections are pretty simple. Um, this one, you're going to glue the H right there. And then these two, it says glue behind eyes. So these are slightly unusual in that the glue is going to go here. And these glue tabs are going to wrap around the ear right there. So you can watch how I do this. I'll put glue on H, but behind tabs I and J. And so H will sit right here. And I goes here and here. And now you have the exterior of the ear, like so. Um, and then we'll handle these two pieces next. This is K and L. So you see K and L there. You put them either on the glue, either on the model or on the tab, whatever you prefer. So that's going to be. And then this piece is going to go right here, and it will actually it will cover that letter A, which is fine. We don't actually need the A anymore. It was just to guide us for getting that piece in at the beginning. So, okay. So, ah, glue. goes there. Um, and then this last bit, not difficult, but maybe the most unusual part of this. So um, you have this piece here. You have to fold these flaps in order to put this inside, and then you're going to open them afterwards. So I'm going to fold. You'll see there are two slits back here, and I'm going to insert this 
into the two slits like so. Then I'm gonna glue down the O's back to back. So put a little bit of glue back here. The, the green O piece is basically a support piece to keep that in there and in position is what it is because these are the actual ear parts inside here. So those are in there. And then really the last thing you need to do is to reopen those flaps so that the ear lays flat. So I'm actually going to reach back here and um, open the flaps. You can also then see those teeny tiny ear bones as well. So hold this up. Um, so hopefully you can see that I've opened up the ear, um, those bones, the flaps inside there so that you can see them. And so um, it's still a little bit wet, but um, this gives you a sense of, um, of how, this shows you exactly how it will look when you're done. And then you can use a pen, or pencil obviously, to the numbers are the ear parts. And so you'll look at that and ask yourself, what is this ear part? And put the label there. And then what's this section here? You know, number two, number three, four, five, and six are on those flaps in there and so on and so forth. So you can label your parts of the ear. Put your name here. And although it's maybe a teeny bit wet, I think this should still work just fine. I'm just gonna close it to show you. So you have your finished ear or ear card, and then it pops up again to reveal your ear. Um, and that is how you make your um, pop-up ear model. So if you liked this video, of course I invite you to subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you.